If you watched my video from last week, you know that we just completed the three peak weeks of the build towards the Jose Andersen Marathon, which now means that we are entering the taper period towards the big race. In the next three weeks, I will gradually decrease the amount of mileage I do while still try to keep the amount of intensity in my training as I have been doing for the past couple of months. In this way, I will still try to keep my fitness at the desired level I am at right now while removing some of the fatigue that has built up in my body during the build up towards the race. Tomorrow we are going to head out for one of the last big key sessions before the race and I'm quite excited to test my fitness for one last time before we begin to prime the body towards the race. But before we meet each other again at breakfast tomorrow morning, I would as usual like to talk you through a bit about the sessions that I've done this week. And as usual, I was down at the track on Tuesday where I was quite fatigued because of the three times 10 kilometers we did last weekend. And I was down at the track doing seven times one mile. And I did it in a overall average pace of three minutes and 24 seconds, which I'm really satisfied about, especially considering all the fatigue my body was under. I was running these intervals completely on feeling and I'm really satisfied about how it went. Then on Thursday, I was out doing a 25 kilometer run with a progressive effort and I ran the overall pace at an average pace of 4 minutes and 1 second per kilometer, which is the fastest 25 kilometer run I've done in this build. So I'm also really satisfied about that. So now it's just about testing the body one last time tomorrow before we begin the taper for real towards the Jose Andersen Marathon. Practice makes perfect and I know exactly what works for my stomach before I head out for a run. As always, I'm up having my oatmeal before we head out and today's run is going to be quite a significant workout. Just as last week we're going to head out and do 3 times 10 kilometers in marathon effort and I'm a little bit nervous and really excited to see how my body reacts this week. And hopefully I'm going to sustain the same pace as last week because it went so well. Every time I do these specific marathon sessions, I always make sure to get some good energy in while I do the run. This is a great way for me to practice what I will be doing on race day while also getting my body used to having these type of energy products in the stomach. And today I'm going to do a very similar energy strategy to what I will be doing on the Jose Andersen Marathon to really practice what I will be doing in terms of fueling. And today we are going to take one of these regular mountain gels during the warm up right before we head out for the run. And then when we are out there, I will be carrying three of these larger gels. So I have one for each interval. And that is exactly what I will also be carrying with me on the Jose Andersen Marathon. So in a few moments, I'm just going to change in some running clothes and then we are about to head out there and hopefully smash this workout.
28 kilometers done in one hour and 51 minutes at a pace of 3 minutes and 58 seconds per kilometer. And as you probably have guessed, I didn't run the full workout today because the original plan was to run about 37 or 38 kilometers. But as I've just said, 28 kilometers was what we did today. And I must say, this is one of the biggest failures of the entire build and a real sucker punch to the stomach. I ran the first interval way too hard, apparently, and I had nothing left to give in the second interval. So I decided to just stop because I thought it didn't make sense to run another 10K interval. But this is really not a good feeling right now. And I must say that my confidence in my running abilities is really influenced by workouts like this. So this is actually, to be honest, a bit hard for me to cope with. And this is really not a great feeling. So now I will just head up in my apartment and get some food. And then I will catch you a little bit later. It has been a couple of days since the run and it has been very good for my mental state to just get a bit of distance to the training and be able to reflect on what happened. And as you saw in the previous clip, I was really down in the basement mentally after cutting the run short. And that is simply just because I'm way too much of a perfectionist in terms of my running training. And it's definitely something that I want to work on moving forward. But in terms of what actually happened, I have concluded that I was just killing myself with those gels. I'm not used to taking the gels, but drinking the liquid instead. So I will just keep doing that moving forward because that is actually what works for me. And the reason why I wanted to take the gels is because I find it way more convenient to carry them in my pocket during the marathon race. But now I have just decided that I'm going to carry the backpack with the liquid energy that I'm used to because I would much rather run with the sort of camel bag that I had instead of killing myself with those gels again. And now I can see that the run that was totally ruined by the gels was actually a blessing in disguise because now I have a way more thought out energy strategy for the Jose Anderson Marathon. But as you saw from a few days ago, I was not really taking it as a blessing in disguise at the moment. And that is again just because I'm way too much of a perfectionist and have to work on that. In terms of what happened during the run, I did the first 10 kilometers in an average pace of 3 minutes and 39 seconds. And to be honest, I'm really satisfied about that. If I could have moved on with that pace, it would just have been perfect. But during the second rip, I got some crazy stomach pains and also lost a very big amount of energy. It was that I was completely drained and couldn't continue running. So I did decide to do the second 10 kilometer rip finishing it in an average pace of 3 minutes and 46 seconds and then afterwards I just decided that it wouldn't make sense to keep working on my body because I don't think it would benefit my form in any way and I'm really glad that I was able to make that decision because that is definitely not something that I would be able to do just 6 months ago. So the conclusion of this failed training run is that it was actually one of the most important runs during this build because now I know exactly what I won't be doing in terms of energy consumption during the Jose Andersen. And I'm really glad that I've been able to extract that information from the run instead of just being mad that it didn't work out. So in the last couple of days I've also been back running and the body feels good. I have a good mental state and I'm positive about going forward with the running. So I'm really looking forward to doing the rest of this build and I really hope that you want to follow me through the last part of the build towards the Jose Andersen Marathon. Besides that, the only thing that I have left to do is just that I want to wish you a great rest of the day. Take care!